Marquette Lately, what is going on? Y'all know who it is. I know y'all miss me. I'm back. Don't even worry about it. It's your boy Rashad over here. Why am I shaking so much? It's your boy Rashad over here. And uh, in case y'all didn't know about me, I'm part of the Marquette band. There's my uh, suitcase. That's my clarinet. Most of the time I'm bass clarinet, but for this week I'm clarinet. And this week we are going to the NCAA tournament for Marquette men's basketball's first round game. And we decided, you know what? Y'all need to get a better look into the life of a pet band member. Because you know what, man? We an important part to Marquette basketball team's success, in case y'all ain't know. The blood, sweat, and tears we put in the stands to make them go off, man, it's crazy. Not a lot of people can do it. So the flight to Texas was cool. It was a lot of turbulence at the end, but we didn't die. Then we took a bus to the hotel where I saw Shaka Smart and realized we basically the same height which also means I should be on the basketball team, but that's a discussion for another day. Y'all, so we in the hotel. This is the hotel. Gave us a little popcorn and stuff. Got my boy over here, we're good. <laughs> nah, but um, got here about 30 minutes ago, I think. We're just chilling right now, about to go get something to eat. Gotta see what's to the Texas food, you know what I'm saying? So uh, hopefully it's good. I don't think it's gonna be better than Chicago food. So I ate this queso burger the first night there and it was very delicious. Also, shout out to Athletics for giving us bread to buy food and stuff. Now let me tell y'all, this barbecue was not given what it's supposed to give. The mac and cheese was mushy and the shrimp was dry. Very bad first Texas barbecue experience to say the least. But this, now I'd give anything to eat this lobster ravioli one more time. It was probably the best thing I ate on the trip and it made up for that weak barbecue I ate earlier. Good morning. It's almost 10 a.m. We about to go to uh, Dickie's Arena. I think it's like about, I don't know, it's a bus ride away, but we about to go there. About to go play for the men's practice for only 45 minutes. So on that Wednesday, we practiced at Dickie's Arena where the game was being held. I got to see a lot of the players from Baylor and North Carolina. I feel like I could give them all buckets, but maybe that's just me. But playing there was actually better than playing at Pfizer, considering we were actually on the floor level versus being in the student section. What's good, y'all? We back outside. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's like 80, I think. It's pushing 80 for sure. I, I don't think I want to leave. I want to leave. Yeah, I ain't going nowhere. All right, y'all, it's game day. Got the polo on and all that. Uh, in about it's like two o'clock right now, so in about an hour and a half, it's game time against North Carolina. To take y'all in there, it's gonna be fun. I'm I'm really excited. This is my first uh, band game on the road with the pet band, so uh, yeah, I'm excited, man. Let's do it. Now I gotta say, it was cool playing at Dickies, especially being able to see all these different media personnel and players. I felt like I was VIP walking into my own section when I was coming through with the band. But as far as the game itself, holy shit, that was hard to watch. Marquette got 30 piece by UNC. Now I'm just saying, if I was in that game, it would have been a lot different, you know what I mean? I got that lockdown defense. Y'all know who, how it be. And if you think otherwise, play me for a million dollars. So we're back at the hotel. Y'all saw what happened, man. I don't know, man. Marquette, y'all. Somebody need to take some people's scholarships. I don't know who, but personally, I think... This was a good trip, though, regardless. I've never been to Texas before, you know. If you know me, I rarely travel like that. So to be able to get this chance was, uh, you know, I'm really grateful for it. And, you know, it was just a fun time. Glad y'all got to be on this journey with me. And uh, I will see y'all later. Thank you for tuning in.